thought about using the app Trello? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Trello for this specific YouTube channel. Hey friends, I'm Tafalda Lantek, aka The Paperless Professor. I'm a professor and I'm a doctoral student and I share tech tips, resources, reviews for teachers and students just like you who want to be paperless or who just want to learn more about ed tech. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning friend, it's great to see you again. Let's get learning. So here I am in my Trello board. I do have a pro version of Trello, uh, which allows me to have this background. But just so you know, this is how I've set up my workflow in Trello for my YouTube channel. So here you can see that I've created a template for my YouTube workflow. And in my template, I've created a checklist for all of the things uh, that I want to do. And with that, I have a, uh, I usually have a Google note that I've jotted down an idea with some information. So you can see that it, this actually links to uh, the Google note. And so from here, I can uh, open it up and I can say, okay, I've done the research for this topic and I could then, you know, okay, so I'm, I can move this card from here to research is done. So the next section would be to script it. I've already scripted this. So um, I've gone ahead and scripted. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move it manually. So now I need to set up the shots for this particular uh, video. Um, I've done that. I've made a list. I know what my B-roll is. I've already done all of that. So I can move it into shooting and recording. So grab that, move it over to shooting and recording. So with this particular video, I've already shot it and I've already recorded it. So I would go in and I don't have a title for it yet. Uh, it's ready to shoot. I've already shot it. Um, so that's done. And now I can move over into editing. So this is actually where this particular video sits right now is in editing. And then you can see that when I click in here, once it's in editing, I need to title it. I need to tag it. Um, I need to figure out what date I want to upload it. Um, so it's actually sitting in here. And then once I've done those other pieces, I can move it along into the publish and promote, and then the completed category. So that's pretty much how I set uh, I set things up. I'm working on finding an IFTTT that will grab my notes and move them. But as of right now, I just basically send the note to Trello. Um, and I can show you how to do that. So here's the note um, that I've created, pretty basic, uh, in just jotting down my ideas and the link for the referral codes for Trello. And so from here I can click uh, share and I can go to more and here's Trello. And it's, and then I need to select where I want it. So for this one, it's going to be my YouTube. And where is it gonna go? In which of those categories that you just saw? In this case, it's gonna go for two ideas for episodes. Save. And once that's done, I can go back to Trello and there it is. From here, I can continue to add. Oftentimes, what you'll notice, what I do is I've already done my research on that Google, on that note, Apple note, and oftentimes I've often even scripted it and set up the shots all in that note. And then I can actually set it to waiting for shooting and recording. So it can skip a couple steps there. It just depends on how your workflow. This tends to work for me. Sometimes I do batches and uh, I can, I can get Trello set up. So one of the things I wanted to show you was once I've made my task card from Apple Notes, I, in the app, there's really no way to copy the checklist from here that I've created to here. Uh, it just, the, the, the copy functionality isn't there. So what I do is I go into Safari, I log into the desktop version. Again, I do not open the app. And from here, I can open this task card and hit checklist. And from there, I can say copy from my template workflow, YouTube workflow. And then when I hit add, 
um, you can see that they all came in just just like normal so that has to be done in the Safari version and not the app again you're always going to run into app limitations but if there is a desktop version running Safari in iOS 13 plus you're going to end up being able to do pretty much everything in full functionality as if you were on the desktop version so that's how I uh, copy over things well I hope that little glimpse into how I use Trello specifically for this video, but also just in general of how to keep yourself organized as a student or as a teacher. I really, really like the Trello app. And I just want to thank you uh, for watching this video and taking the time to, that you spent with me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and that way you won't miss any of the tech tips that I'm going to be putting out in upcoming videos. Don't forget to check out my podcast, the My Tech Tool Belt podcast, where we interview teachers who innovate, engage, and inspire using technology in their classroom. It's a pretty cool podcast. Also, don't forget to watch some of our other videos. I'll put links in the description here. And thanks for being with us today. Keep learning, friends.